Welcome everyone, Farmer Comp here. This is going to be episode 17 of my gameplay series on No Man's Land. It's good to have you guys all back in here. Um, so, it is March. We are still waiting for, well, corn prices to go up. We want to hopefully get, I think we'll probably end up selling around June. So it's again March, April, May, yeah, June. We'll get those sold off. Um, we need to get, uh, oh gosh, 25,000 liters of that needs to go to the uh, cereal factory to help our contract with Tyler Kent. We do need to check actually on what is honey prices doing because we could sell some honey as well. 11.05, a good one. Well, prices are great right now for honey. 11.32 at the farm shop. Um, cereal factory needs, uh, we'll need the honey anyway. So we probably could actually just, we might actually just go sell off some honey right away. Oops. I'm going to hop back in there. And then we need to get our fields plowed. And then we'll talk about what we're going to plant here in a second. Um, and I got the uh, F11 screen working. So our money is accurate now. I added in that extra stuff from last episode that I could not add in. All right. Oh, geez. Oh, gosh. I can't drive anywhere. Okay. So. Yeah. One of these is too heavy. Is it this one? No. This guy right here. Yep, so we're gonna use, ignore me, fine. Everything's great here, nothing to see. Use super strength for this one and then the rest of them will be fine without, uh, cause the rest of them are not that heavy. I know this is not a lot of honey. What is this? Each of these are 400 liters. So we still need to get a lot more over to the cereal factory, but this will be at least a start for them. There we go. Beautiful. That in there, grab this guy. Oop, there we go. And we'll grab this little chunk of, what is this? 103 liters. Uh, I like to do them in, I like to do them in equal or even chunks. So I think we'll just take this, we'll strap them down. Okay, so we're gonna take them to the most expensive place. Well, we're gonna get, sorry, we're gonna get paid out the most expensive one, but we're gonna take them to um, the other place. So 1600 liters at 1132, we're not gonna make a lot, but, um, Hey, it's gonna be something in the bank, you know? So 16, let me just figure out how much we're gonna make real quick. 11.32 times 1.6, we're gonna make 18.11 on this. So that's not bad. I'll just go ahead and add that in real quick before I forget. 18.11, boom. That's all we're gonna make off of this, which is, you know, it's better than nothing. So we'll take it. But yeah, we're gonna deliver this to the cereal factory. So that way they have this for the makings of the cereals which would be great. We eventually need to get, I think, 25,000 liters to them. <laughs> so we're gonna have to improve our uh, production probably quite a bit. But at the same time, we're slowly making money. Slowly making money. This has not been a very profitable endeavor doing honey, to be honest. Just to be honest, it's not been a very profitable endeavor. All right, let's get these guys in here. Theoretically, moving around like they're unloading, or is it, is it over here? Oh, there we go. There we go. Okay, beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And that didn't give us any money. Good. Okay, perfect. So that means we got paid and we're all good to go. Fantastic. Oh, jeez Louise, I can't drive. I really can't drive. <laughs> I was doing much better with the honey and the full load. Oh, good gravy. Now, I will say, and actually, let me, I'll read this while we're heading back to the farm. Um, one of the things we are going to grow this year is one of our fields, probably our biggest field. Yeah, yeah, probably our biggest field. So uh, Brandon Black sent us a message, a contract here. It says, Farmer Cop recently took a contract from my local oil mill for some flower seeds. I have enough land for this uh, year to fulfill the contract, but if you'd be willing to put in one field of sunflower for the next growing season. So now I'd be willing to compensate you 15% over current at that time. Selling price for whatever you can send me. It uh, doesn't matter if it's your biggest or smallest field. Any little bit would be help greatly. So, um, yeah, I'm happy to help out with that for sure. 50% over uh, the price is great. So we're definitely going to do our biggest field. So we'll probably do, yeah, I mean, our biggest field is going to be, I don't know. These guys, I'll probably do it in this field here. Um, and then these two fields, uh, I'm back and forth on what I want to grow on them or grow in them. Um, I kind of want to start thinking about, like, doing some production, like maybe potentially doing... Um, we don't have any production facilities right now, but if we go to 
join this one real quick. Yep, um, I just wanna show you guys in here. So we have some options. So this is the farm production barn. So there's different things we can produce. We can make french fries, premium potatoes, spaghetti be good. So flour would be like good if we can get some flour rolling. So we can be like wheat, barley flour, sorghum makes flour as well. Um, well that's the grain mill extended, but gosh, this is hard. Flour, barley flour, wheat flour. Yeah, I wish those things took more than just wheat or barley because those are the hardest things for us to get. But popcorn's another option. So um, we will make a profit on it if we grew some popcorn and did it that way. Oatmeal is another, actually, oat drink. Could do oat drink. Oatmeal would be kind of a good one to do for us. Um, I'm thinking about that one, maybe. Soy drink. I think oatmeal would be kind of a good one to do. Yeah, oatmeal. What does oatmeal sell for? Um, compared to oats. And actually, what's that production rate again? Um, it's one to one, so that's an easy way to look at the prices here. So we could probably expand quite a bit by doing that. Oatmeal, uh, 760, well, that's it's not very good right now, but um, yeah, 748 compared to oats, which will sell at, where are oats, way up the top. Um, up to 636. So I mean at a minimum, we're gonna make a hundred bucks more. The problem, I mean, it's only 10 grand to put that in. So I think over time, if we put one of those in, we could always do like again oat drink. I don't know what oat drink sells for, because oat drink is another that one's not doing well there. But what is the uh, ratio for oat drink? Um one oat, so it's one to ten. So you multiply that actually probably a better way to go about things, quite frankly. Um, oat drink does seem like maybe a better way. And we can transport water probably pretty easily. And if we got that set up, soy drink, it's probably another one's gonna be pretty close to that. But yeah, oat drink actually looks like a better way to go. But yeah, so let's plant some oats. I think we'll do in the other two fields and then maybe get a production facility going. If we have some leftover uh, corn as well, we can make some popcorn, that'll be fine. But uh, yeah, so we have some different production options available for us, which is pretty sweet. So we can do some of that sort of different stuff. Um, we could even make cereal if we wanted to, which we don't have raisins, but everything else. And actually, we need more oats for the oat factory, too. So actually, oats is what we need to be working on as well. So we do a field, the big field of sunflowers, and then we'll do some oats. Oh, probably turn this guy off. So yeah, what I'm going to do then is I'm going to probably get all that done. Honestly, off camera, I don't even think I'll put a time lapse in this episode. But yeah, you guys have seen me plant stuff and do that sort of thing before. Um, but yeah, what I need to do is I need to get these fields planted. And let's run over and check on yeah, our grass is not ready to go yet. Yeah, it's not quite ready to go yet. Now, one thing I'm going to do after I finish plowing is I'm going to lease. I'm going to do it. Just do it to get it done with. I'm going to lease if we go into ooh, what's on sale here. I didn't I haven't been checking that. It's a good looking snow plow there. It's a big old header. Um, what I'm going to do is lease the whatchamacallit. You guys are like, I don't know what that is. Um, I understand that. We have a lot of mods installed. But let's go to, oh, we're in the wrong, uh, anyways, we're in the wrong farm. Let's just jump back because we're looking at those productions. I placed down this production just, or the productions for those, so just so I could take a look at things that I was going through. We'll join our farm again. Um, horse equipment. I'm going to lease this guy. because That's the cheapest way to remove stumps. So I'm going to lease this guy um, and go about removing all the stumps we have here and then there's a couple of random ones in different various areas. So I'm gonna to try to do that as well. Um, and it shouldn't cost us um, too much to lease it if we go back to forestry equipment. Um, the lease cost, yeah, 1200 bucks. We're not gonna use it for more than an hour. So I think 1200 bucks to get that stuff removed would be worthwhile for us. So uh, yeah, so what I'm gonna do off camera is probably get all that stuff done if I possibly can. Um, I might even not bring you guys back in until we sell something or it's even harvest. We might even get all the way around to harvest, which I think is fine. Um, if we get that far along, um, that's pretty good. And then after we start making some more money, which actually right now what we're going to do, I'm tempted to pay off part of the loan. 80 grand is what we own or owe. So let me pay. We'll just do. Now I'm going to hold off just in case there's something that pops up that I want to do. Now, if we're going to plant sunflowers too, we don't have. Oof, we don't have a, a, something that's going to plant those. So we're at the lease a planter. Uh, which would be a little bit of a pain. So let's take a look at that real quick. So we are going to have to do that. Planters. Nope, nope, planters. Here we go. I might lease, honestly, the cheapest one. 15 grand. Just to save us money. What is that one? That one would do it, but that one, two meters. This is probably, what, three? Three meters. 
I don't know if the other one... I guess the other one would be fine, but I think we'll just probably lease this guy. Uh, yeah, 765, that's not going to be much. We'll make that back on the sunflower. So I'll probably end up leasing this guy to plant the sunflower field and getting that going. But um, yeah, that'll be our plan. So yeah, we'll get all the fields plowed because um, at least the ones that have corn for sure need it. And I mean, they got weeds and everything anyway. So yeah, we'll get all that done. We'll probably have to remove some stones, which will be fine. And I'll get that done as well um, off camera. So yeah, I'll get our fields done, planted, good to go and set. Um, and I'll bring you guys back in uh, later on. Welcome back, everyone. It has been a long time since I recorded the first half of this episode and this part of it right here. Um, <laughs> excuse me, geez, I'm coughing. Um, anyhow, I brought you guys back in because remember, we're going to sell some corn hopefully off. Um, but a few things have happened. First off, as you can see, our oats here and our oats over here, of course, as well, are ready to harvest. So we're going to harvest those. Those just got ready today. It's seven in the morning in game. Sunflowers are still chugging along. And then I just harvested and bailed the grass up again. So we have two full round stacks here. And this one's, yeah, that's fermenting. And then these guys are fermenting as well. So anyhow, yeah, we are working on getting some more silage bales. Hopefully we get, we should get at least one more cut uh, this year from our silage bales. But we get a lot of silage bales sitting over there, which is awesome. Um, I will get the harvest done here in a bit. But one thing I wanted to do while you guys were in here is bring you in so we can sell the corn off. Which we're not gonna be able to do all of it probably. And I need to actually, real quick, I need to look over. I have some notes here because we need to deliver 25,000 liters of corn to the cereal factory. So we're going to do that first. Um, I don't know how long, how much it'll take in here before we're full. Won't take the full 25,000, I'm sure. We'll see. Maybe. Close. There we go. Well, I guess it will. All right, we'll take the 25,000 liters now. Um, yeah, we'll take these to the cereal factory, and then we'll deliver the rest of it here later. I'll probably do that off camera. But we'll take this down there, and it shouldn't, it won't pay us out when we dump it in there, but um, we'll add in the money from it. And if I remember correctly, oh gosh, I can't even remember correctly now. I need to see, I can't, I don't think we got a, uh, a bonus on it, um, if, if I remember. Yeah, we don't get like a bonus on it as far as uh, anything goes um, in terms of, well, simply in terms of the sale price that we get. So that's why I wanted to wait for a good price to sell it there. Um, we're just trying to help them make uh, cereal essentially, which is great. So this will get us um, a lot of what we need over there. We'll check here in a second once we get over there what we need left uh, for that contract. And again, we did do the 7,500 liters already delivered that. Excuse me. And then uh, what we will do... Yeah, we'll get that squared away. Oh, we need oats. That's right, it's oats as well for the uh, cereal factory, which we have oats right now. And we were talking about making some oatmeal. So what we might end up doing, since we have to get more honey anyways to get that cereal contract fulfilled, so we have a little bit of time, we may, instead of simply delivering some of our oats, we may actually use them to make a production product because we'll make more money that way. So that actually might be the route we take. So we'll probably actually end up doing that. I'm just gonna go around the backside here, sneak in here. This should take everything back in, allegedly. <laughs> there we go, all right. It shouldn't be paying us. Nope, not paying us, perfect. And then we'll pay ourselves out 25,000 liters at the price which we have, which we did get a good price of, um, we can pay it out at the, well these are lower than what I had in here. These have gone down a little bit in the last few minutes. That's okay, 497 is our best price in here. So we'll take our 497 for that. So if I grab my handy dandy calculator, 497 times the 25, that's $12,425. So we can, oh, of course my, oh, that's right. I re, I rekeyed it. Sorry, you can ignore that. I rekeyed up where my uh, F12 is because uh, I'm going to add the easy development controls. And what was that amount? 12,425. We'll add that in there. Boom. Bumps us up a little bit, which is nice. <clears throat> and I might actually hold on to that corn because if I remember correctly, well, first off, let's do this real quick. Um, let's just move over to the other farm. Let's jump over to, we'll join this one real quick because we're gonna take a look at the production menu. Cereal factory, 25,000 liters of corn. Again, we need 12,500 liters. Was that right? To get 25,000, 25,000. Here, let me see how much, oh, actually 25,000 minus 14,500. Uh, 10,500 liters of oats. I have 11,500 written down. So 10,500 liters of oats we need to get left into here to get up to 25,000. 
raisins we're probably not gonna be able to provide them but i do want to provide them the honey if i can um raisins will be tricky so we might we might be able to contract that out and get some raisins some way or another um another way but again honey we're very low when you get twenty five thousand liters or not quite twenty five thousand liters sorry it's only half the honey so we only need to get um twelve thousand five hundred liters which isn't much better um i'm gonna write that down actually as well twelve thousand five hundred of honey which means we have well minus the 1600 that we have there so we have almost i mean we have most of it still yet now if we go down here's rusty's donut factory there we could do some of that at some point now, if we go down here to the farm production building which is probably what we're going to end up buying what we can do we can obviously make uh, our oatmeal with it but we can also make popcorn which is going to be a little bit more in terms of what we make off of it so I figure we might as well do that. Oat drink or oatmeal is the question. Do we make the oat drink or the oatmeal? Oh boy, that's a tough one. Tough one. Oat drink looks like it takes longer. Um, that's one to 10 for that. So whatever, so it'd be 10 times the price for that essentially would what we get. So oats we get, we'll say we get 636 on a good day for oats. Uh, for, cause we looked at the oatmeal earlier. If we go down here, where are we at? Oat drink is 283 on a good day, but we get 10 times as much. So um, that's 2,800 bucks, which is really good. And this was one for one. So I actually would probably want to make the oat drink. So that'll probably be what we do. Uh, Cause even on the low end of this spectrum here, we're going to do just fine off of that. Cause it's about, I mean, yes, we have to provide water, but uh, one oat, if we go back down to that production, one oat is going to get us 10 of, oh, yes, we have to buy water, but again, that's still going to make us a lot of money. So we'll probably end up going that route, um, which is what I would I would think here. Oh, this also makes raisins from the grapes, this farm production building, which is kind of nice. So we might be able to actually make the raisins if we can source some grapes, um, but yeah, we'll look into doing some of that. So anyway, I wanted to bring you guys back in, just kind of give you guys an update with where we're at um, as far as everything goes. I don't know how long this uh, episode is going to be, um, what I am going to do off camera, though, is I'm going to go ahead and get our oats harvested. And then, well, that's probably, I'll probably get the oat harvested, let you guys know how we're doing in terms of oats. And then we'll maybe get a production facility set up. And then uh, we might add a business into the town and kind of go from there. So that'll probably be the plan for the rest of the uh, the episode. So I'll get that squared away and I'll bring you guys back in here uh, once we're good to go. All right. Welcome back, everyone. So I didn't add anything to the town and I'm probably not going to for this episode. Uh, but what I did want to focus on is kind of our uh, farm today as far as getting, you know, kind of the, some of the stuff that I wanted to get knocked out, knocked out. So we're going to do that. So first off, oats are harvested here and over here. I did decide to bale the straw because I figured, you know what, we might as well. So we can make a little bit extra money. So we got, what, one, two, three, four, five, six bales over here. So six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 total bales, which is pretty good. Uh, 18 times 5,000, so, I don't know, 18 times 5 would be, so I don't know actually how much money we'll be make off that. Um, 18 times about 5, so you get 90,000 liters of straw, which seems like a lot. Um, a given straw is not going to make us very much money. Uh, if we get it up to 48 bucks, then, well, it's an extra, oh, I did the math wrong here. It'll be an extra 4300 bucks for us. So I think that's actually pretty good. Um, so no complaints there. I'm glad I actually did that. I didn't realize it'd be quite that much if we get it up for, again, that good price there. But yeah, so I'm happy with that. Um, I did move a lot of our equipment over here. So we have some room to kind of work with this space here. As far as how many oats we actually got, we got 14,000 liters off of there, which is fantastic. Current prices are fine, but we're not worried about that because we are going to put in... Oh, that... Yep, there it is. I rarely see it go across, but uh, anyhow, okay. We're gonna do some work on here. I also kind of want like a little area to park our equipment. Uh, we're not terribly well set up for that. And I think I'm gonna demolish the fences along here. If I can, I think I might as, yeah, I think I'm just gonna take these guys out. Yep, we don't really need this old uh, outhouse there. Um. I'll leave the one along the back here. I'll take this one off the side. Yeah, I'll take off just that first chunk of it there. Um, again, lots of silage bales. We don't get any money for that. So we'll leave that shed there alone. I did think about getting rid of, how much we get? Zero dollars to work. None of this stuff's worth anything. Yeah, so which is which is great. 
Uh, that one's probably worth something. Nope, not that. Oh, that's worth something. Well, no, it's not, actually. Just the uh, oats and stuff in there are worth something. That's worth something, but that's not technically ours for the roleplay aspect of this. But yeah, so, I mean, obviously for... We go to right about... Here's kind of our property line. So we have this area through here to get what we need to get done. We do have this space back here, which I did think about putting in the production facility. But I think I want to try to keep it up here. We can... I might build it over top of the rock and roleplay us uh, paying someone to remove one of these rocks. I wish we could. We can't demolish these rocks, can we? Gosh darn it, that'd be so nice if we could do that. Um, these are... I know someone said you can landscape over them. I'll show you that you probably cannot do that. I'm pretty sure you cannot. Yeah, that's not... Not landscape this away. You could landscape over top of it and put ground on top of it, but then you'd have like a weird ramp into your area. But anyhow. So, production... We do have some factories in here. Let's see which one that doesn't make what we're after. We want one that makes that one makes raisins. The, I think the bar it's the barn ones that make. Well, these are in order of right from cost, so we can keep going here. New the new mod I installed. Problem is we go to the farm productions, which do everything. That is a lot more expensive, but it would be nice to be able to do everything and not have to worry about a production. Oh, that's just a lot to invest in. So I think we just do a $10,000 one uh, for starters. Like maybe just this one to do oats and popcorn and then we don't worry about um, doing like raisins or anything like that. So I think this is just a better option for us. And this thing really isn't that big. Honestly, it could go pretty much anywhere. I might even just set it right here. I mean, honestly, I might... I might just put it right here. I think that'll be a good spot for it. Yep, we're just gonna do that. We're gonna put it right there. And that looks that looks fine right where it's at. Landscaping. Um, we're gonna paint down, hopefully just some gravel around here. I think I'd rather have uh, gravel texture. Through here. And then around the side. A little bit of gravel through there. Then I'm happy with that. So that's that's pretty good. That's pretty well set up. Um, and we could put in... We need storage space for our, our stuff, regardless of how we look at this. So we might put in a big gra gravel lot through here, is what I'm thinking. So if we do something like this, it's right up to about there. I'm going to fill that in with dirt in a little bit here. Just give us a nice big gravel. I know this is kind of a waste of money, but it's not that much to put down the gravel. So um, I think we can invest a little bit in the farm. That right up to there. Beautiful. Uh, go back to our gravel. Yes, yeah, so this has so far only been a couple thousand dollars. Which I know is extra money that we don't need to be spending. But at the same time, let's start making this place look like our home, you know? I'm good with that. I actually think I want a little bit more grass around here. This is where it's actually, this is probably one of the most expensive things we do. Put the grass back in around here. Yeah, I think I want some more, just a little bit more grass. Plants, put a little bit more. It has prices in here. Does it always have prices in there? Probably. Oh, no, 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 that's not what I want. I want the legit grass. There it is. Oh, it is 50 bucks. See that? That is the expensive stuff there. Okay. That looks pretty nice, you know? It's not perfect. That'll give us just some space to be able to store stuff and feel like we're actually parking it on a decent area. So that costs us about three grand to put that in. And then 10 grand for this bad boy right here. So I think overall... Uh, really worth it. Um, I did think about putting like a little pass through here. At a minimum, I don't want these bushes here. They just kind of clutter everything up, my personal opinion. There we go. Just get those bushes out of there. This bush, I don't want to be there either. Yeah, they just kind of clutter things up. But yeah, that looks a lot nicer. It looks a lot crisper, a lot cleaner. This through here, I'd rather be grass. Yeah, I like that. That's nice. That's a lot nicer than what we had before. 
I'm pretty happy with that. Our farm's starting to move in the right direction, so... Uh, oh, sorry, my foot's my phone going off. But our farm's starting to move in the right direction. I'm pretty happy about that. Let's get some stuff put in the production. I'm going to mute my phone real quick before I get another... Before it goes off again. Um, let's go ahead and throw in our... Well, let's put our corn in first. Sure, why not? Since we're right there. And then we'll put our oats in. And then we'll see what we start getting out of this bad boy. I'm pretty excited. I am pretty darn excited here. Now, as far as selling it goes, not sure. Not sure how we'll do all that. This also makes cereal, I'm pretty sure. We'll, we'll take a look, because now we should have, or we have our first production, yeah, it does also make cereal, which is, oh, we could put oats, corn. We could, if we could get all of some raisins, we can make cereal. Gosh darn, cereal would be a good one to make too. But we'll stick with the popcorn and oatmeal for now. Um, we'll stick with that. Ooh, I'm not getting quite on that trigger. Popped up for a second. There we go. Much better. Go in there. We can activate that bad boy and this bad boy. This is going to be popcorn that's changed to distributing so it doesn't leave. It doesn't spawn any pallets. Because I think the oats are going to be... Um, we'll get the oats out of it first. And we wanted to do oat drink too, which we're going to need. A the thing we need to buy is like a little water trailer. Um, to get that over there, which is kind of sad with the fact that there's a water supply right there. Uh, but let's get the oats in there, and then we'll worry about our water trailer here. Okay. Oat time. Oat time. There we go. Put all those oats in there. And then that should start... We should start really having some a good sale of uh, some, some goods in the next episode. Next episode, quite honestly... Um, well, obviously we'll harvest our sunflowers. That's going to give us a good chunk of change from that sorry, sunflower contract. Can't talk anymore. Good Lord. Uh, the sunflower contract that we have. In addition to that, if we can sell all these products off, we might have enough to pay off our loan and still be sitting pretty good. Maybe not pretty good in the bank, but at least have some money in the bank. Uh, but I bet you we can start chugging along here. Oh, if we sell the silage as well, no doubt we'll be making some really good progress on that loan and getting some more money put in the bank. So we are making really solid, steady... I can't I seriously cannot talk today guys I'm sorry I am very sorry for that um, we're just gonna park this guy right here and then while we're driving down to the store here we will shop for um, a new water trailer we'll probably just get like the aqua trans or no there's that little little tiny one we don't need anything crazy we can make plenty of trips um, on our own and actually you know what oh geez I'm gonna hit the tree let's take the the truck down there because the little one I want to buy the one on my head should hook up uh, to the truck, no problem. If not, I'll be a little upset, but that's okay. Um, but let's get this, let's get this rolling here. Yeah, if we go here, auto load. What is it? Auto load though. It holds. Fail all loading. Oh, just do fails though. It doesn't do. Anyhow, okay. A great harvester right there, but we can't afford any of this. Um, let's go to miscellaneous. What do we have for water tankers in here? Box it. That thing looks great. A little mini bales. Got all sorts of stuff in here. Some tanks and things. Uh, fuel tank trailer. There's the Aqua Trans at 9,500. That's not the one I'm thinking of. Under animals, we should have ooh, old water trailer, 1,000. That does three thousand dollars for. I mean, all we need is that. That's more than enough for water for us. Is moving a thousand liters back and forth. Two grand would save us a little. I mean, not. Would save us a lot of time. That's it's over double for. You know what? Let's go with this one. And I haven't used this one in game yet. So we'll do. What do we have? Oh, well, that's for the the rims. Oh, we don't two thousand dollars for different rims. Good gravy. Okay, we'll buy that. Um, because that thing's really not, that's nothing really. Um, let's go grab it. Sorry, this episode's a little bit longer than I originally would have anticipated or hoped for, but, um, let's get this, let's get this up and running. I really want to do that. So we'll take our truck down there. I know several of you have made comments about how I should sell the truck. I know we could sell the truck and get a little bit of cash, but I mean, we're not, I think we get a couple grand for it. So at this point, as old as this truck is, we might as well just hold on to it. Because, I mean, seriously, if we look in the garage, we don't get, except we're not even a thousand bucks for it. Maybe a thousand after we take it to a, like a, the store, but we don't get, we're, 
it just doesn't make sense to me to sell it because it doesn't matter really that much at the end of the day it's not gonna it's not gonna do anything for us and we might as well hold on to it so we have a truck and we use it to sell the honey so we use it occasionally i know we really can't justify keeping it in terms of that but just based on the price alone or what it would be worth if we sold it i think we can probably justify just holding on to it for now Jeez. Oh, gosh darn it. <laughs> oh, I guess we'll pick it up down there. <laughs> oh, heavens. Oh, it's coming in too hot into the store. That's too funny right there. Jeez, Louise, I hit that tree. All right. Beautiful. Beautiful. Let's get this to the farm before we lose it over another cliff or something crazy like that. Oh, good heavens. Good heavens. Just craziness. Just absolute craziness. Okay, we'll get this back up to the farm, we'll load her up, we'll just put a little bit of water in there, and then our production plants should be good to go. That one's running just fine. Oh, oatmeal. It's not we're not even making oat drink. Never mind. We can't even what am I thinking? Oh guys, I am out of control today. Well, I guess we're making oatmeal with that because it's in there and it's making it. So, and we have this now. So we didn't even need that. For those of you that were screaming and yelling at your screens, I sincerely apologize. <laughs> oh gosh, we were gonna make the oat drink, but we can't. So you know what? Everything's fine. That's like, what a sad, disappointing note to end the episode. <laughs> so, <laughs> but anyhow, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like down below. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button up on the screen to join the Farmer Cop channel. And turn on your notification bell so you don't miss any future videos I may post. This has been Farmer Cop. Thank you guys for coming and for watching.